What is up guys, it's Saltage here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to create your own modded Rust dedicated server. First of all, you want to head over to the Rust website, where you can download this zip file containing all the files needed for a vanilla Rust server. After downloading the zip file, create a new folder called Rust dedicated server and extract the files there. Next, head into the Steam directory, run the Steam executable, let it load, download, validate, and do what it needs to do. And then when it's finished, go ahead and exit it. I'll go back into the folder where you extracted the files and run the rust underscore ds executable. Once again, let this run, download, validate and update. This can take a long time and when done, your server should be up. If you want to change some of the server settings, such as the name of the server and the port that it runs off, you can edit the rust underscore ds file. Launch Rust and press F1 to open the console. Type client.connect followed by a space and then your IPv4 address which can be found in your control panel as shown here. Once on the server you will be in the vanilla world and will have limited capabilities. This will be fine for some people who want to play vanilla, but if you want to go a step further and mod the server, continue watching. In order to mod the server, we need the Oxide framework, which can be found at the oxidemod.org website where you can download it. You might need to create an account, and I highly recommend doing so since you'll need to use this website frequently for updating Oxide and other mods. Once downloaded, open up the Oxide folder and drag the files into the Rust DS directory, and make sure that when prompted you select Replace Files. Once the copy is complete, you'll need to create a new server.bat file to start the server without checking for updates, since during the update the program removes the Oxide files. Open Notepad on your computer and type in the following. You can customise the port and names of both the server and the server file to your liking. Click save as and name this file something like server start or server followed by dot bat. Once saved, close the notepad window and run the new server start dot bat file to launch the server with Oxide. Once loaded into the server, you will still not be able to do anything since you will have standard permissions still. So you will want to type the following in the server command console to make yourself an admin and an owner. This will give you access to some more commands to use with plugins. To have the admin privileges, you will need to re-log onto the server. While re-logging, you can add some plugins to the server by downloading them off Oxide and pasting the files into the plugins directory in the server files. You should see the server load the plugins in the server console. Now after re-logging onto the server, you will be able to use a few more admin tools such as the item spawner and the ability to fly. However, you will still not be able to use commands for many of the plugins. To solve this, you will need to input some more commands onto the in-game console. First of all, allow yourself to spawn in helicopters and use the heli control plugin. You need to type oxide.grantuser, your steam name, helicontrol.admin. Try calling in a heli with slash cool heli in the chat. To enable infinite ammo, you will need to type oxide.grant group admin infinite.ammo. This just gives you a quick taster of a few plugins that you can use. There'll be some more information in the description about any problems, and commands will also be there. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.